is there something about this area that attracts these objects? Pat meets Jeff Woolwein, a UFO researcher at the foot of the White Tank Mountains. These hills are riddled with petroglyphs, rock art carved into the landscape primarily by the Hohokam, a Native American people who lived here from 200 BCE to 1400 CE and then mysteriously disappeared. Clearly, the whole calm we're seeing things in the sky as we're seeing now, strange objects, strange lights, if you will. They didn't have video cameras back then. They had stone boulders to record something significant, something to remember in history. They wanted to, to copy this down so people would understand what had happened here. Pat and Jeff hike to the spot where strange petroglyphs have been found. Among the petroglyphs is an image Jeff believes to be significant. You'll notice this interesting line here. It has a black hair, a black hair, a black hair in the line. In today's world, what we like to call them is barbells. Barbell-shaped UFOs, like this one videotaped over Phoenix on January 24, 2005, are well known to modern researchers. It's possible that local tribes people were inspired to record their own sightings on these very rocks nearly a millennium ago. And when you say barbell, you mean a barbell-shaped UFO? Barbell-shaped UFO, correct. Right now, I'm, I'm looking at glyphs that are very interesting, but again, they are Jeff's interpretation. You could speculate, it could be the sun, a star, but it could also be a, a light in the sky. That's correct. These people could have been recording UFOs, or they could have been recording uh, celestial events, uh, you know, stars, comets, that sort of thing. So uh, at this time, it's just a theory, but uh, it's a very interesting one. While Jeff's interpretation is a personal one, even government experts who have studied the petroglyphs for years have difficulty explaining some of the images. Doc Tallboys is a park ranger and works with the Arizona State Historical Preservation Office on the study, cataloging and mapping of all the sites in the White Tank Mountain Regional Park. So, Doc, what's your take on the White Tang Mountain petroglyphs? The Hohokams really observed what was going on around them. They had, uh, they were great observers of celestial events, seasonal events. So they really left us a, a, an interesting pictorial history of that from their point of view. We have pictures that could look like alien beings, men wearing helmets. We have one obvious one that look at it one way it looks like a saucer with fire coming out of the bottom we're strictly speculating on what these things mean we have no idea what they mean because there's no rosetta stone there is no bridge to translating what they might have been 